everybody, this is Ellen, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a happy lipstick. Super cute. The top comes off, and then you have a lovely little lipstick inside. I did make it so that you could remove the lipstick entirely from the container so that you can change the color of your lipstick if you want to or kind of mix and match if you make more than one. So I think that's kind of a neat little thing, a little extra touch to it. So I hope that you agree. They are a little tough getting back inside of the container, but uh, it's not horrible. It just takes a little bit of effort. So I'll show you how to do that when we get there. Band-wise, the lipstick is 76 pink ones or whatever color you want. Then the case or the, yeah, the tube is, um, I use 196 silver in this one and then there's 24 gold as kind of a little accent in between the case. So then you'll have your face. I use the 7mm pony beads. I'm going to use those again, but you can use a wrap band instead and then the cheeks and the mouth. So we'll get started. First I'll show you with the eyes. I'm going to use the little pony beads. You're going to want something that you can put into a V-shape. This is a piece of craft wire. You can use string, thread, or floss. Then you want to take two bands that are going to be the color of your tube, put them in the center, close it up, and then thread it through your bead. And then you just take out your little tool you used and you have a beaded eye band. And I need to make my other one. And if you don't have the beads, you can use a wrapped band. It's just one band on the hook, whatever color you want your eye to be. Wrap it around once, grab both bands, wrap them around again, and then pull through two bands that are the color of your tube. So that'd be a wrapped band eye band if you don't have the beads. Either way works. So you want two of those. And then you want your cheeks. It's made the same way as the eye. It's so whatever color you want the cheek to be on the hook, wrap it around, grab both bands, wrap them around again, and then pull through two bands the color of your tube. And you want two cheeks as well. So we'll get started. So it's one little wrong end towards us. I'm going to start with the lipstick first. It's entirely double banded unless I say differently but it'll be two bands. I'm going to take them up to a center pin and then come off like this. So we're just doing a little two pin design first. Center pin right here is going to get two bands wrapped around three times. So one, two, and three. Then you'll take your hook, go in through that cap band, grab the top two bands, pull them up through and back towards themselves. Do that on both sides, like that. And then what you want to do is pop the cap band off so it's in the center, like this. And now, we're going to do a row around the center. And I'm going to do it so that I kind of pull the bands behind the pins so that they're not kind of trapped in the side, in the inside area. So like that. It just makes it easier to grab the center and pull it out when we're done. So like this. Flip the bottom four on both sides. Push down. And then what we want to do is I'm going to grab the cap band and I'm going to pop off the bands that I pulled over those pins. And I just want to hang on to the cap band when I do that. And I'm kind of having it at an angle. I'm only pulling on one side of the cap band, kind of in a weird way, and that's what helps to give this the angle at the top. Then what you want to do is grab the top two bands on the right side, lift them up, pull them up, then on the left side, top two bands, pull them up, and again, just make sure that cap band is kind of pulled at an angle, like that. And push these down. 
And now, all we're going to do for this is do, I did eight rows for this one. You could do less if you need to. It's just kind of, this filled it up pretty much on the inside. Um, you could make it a little shorter if you need to. But I did eight rows, so that's what I'm going to do this time. It's two bands all the way around, and we're going to do eight rows. So like that. In our first row, we're only going to be flipping over two on each pin. Like that. You probably want to mark your rows so you know how many you're doing, because there are multiple this time. Start our second row. Like then we'll flip the bottom four. I like to wear lipstick when I get all dolled up, but it's hard to find the right shade, I think, because you, there's certain shades that, like, they're pretty, and you, like, really like them, you're like, oh, I really like that color, it's, but once you wear it, not so good, or things like, um, any color that has an orange tint to it can make your teeth look yellow. So you always have to like watch out for that. And then if you're too dark, it just kind of looks weird. Or at least to me, it looks, on me, it looks weird if it's too dark. Unless I'm like ballroom type stuff or something. You need to be super fancy. And then there's some that are, the colors are just so light, I don't feel like I'm wearing anything. I do like the lipstick though that um, usually comes with like two different parts to it. Where the first part is the color, like a lip stain, and then the second part is like a gloss. Because that stuff stays on very well. But the only thing is that like if you get too dark a color, which I've done before, because I'm like, that's so pretty. And then I put it on, I'm like, oh no! You have to like make sure you wipe it off or blot it off quickly. Otherwise, you end up with much too dark. At least for me. Everybody has different tastes. There are times when I wish I could be like super crazy and wear super colors, but it's just. It's not me. Or it doesn't feel like me, I guess. I suppose it could be. Change your style. I'm just continuing to go around, dropping a band up here as I count my rows. And annoying you with my lipstick story. But yes, I buy those kits at Christmas, especially when they go on clearance after Christmas. And I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them, because I end up with this ton of colors and eyeshadows and lipsticks and nail polish. And I like putting all that stuff on, but a lot of times it's you also have to take it off, especially nail polish. I 
I know I'm not the only one out there that buys all of those things. And we've got one more row. Like that. So that's eight rows. Then we just go around and put your hook in. Take it off the loom. And then take two bands and pull them through. Both ends on. Make a slip knot. You can kind of flatten out the bottom before you make it super tight. and then hide your tail. Hide your tail better. So like that, it has a little angle up here. You can pull on that cap band some more. Then you can Probably loosen up or adjust some of these back here too if you need to to fix the angle if you stretch the bands funny. But I think that's pretty good right there. So we have that made. And like I said I thought that was pretty quick to make and you could even make it shorter so it's even quicker. I just thought it was a cute idea to have it something that you can remove. So now we're going to make the lower portion of the lipstick holder. Um, this will be the accent part first. So we're just going to go around on six pins with crossing two bands. Like that. And then right on top of this, we're going to go all the way around with two bands normally. Like that. And then you'll flip the bottom four. Push that down, then you'll get your next color. And we're just going to go right on top, all the way around. We're actually going to do three rows, just like this. like that. Then you flip the bottom four. Push down. So that's one row. We'll do our second row. bottom four. Push down. Now a third row.
put the bottom four. That. So now before we go a whole lot farther, we want to flip this up so that it's not growing down anymore, but growing up. So it might take a little bit of pulling. Just kind of get it up like that. So we go too much further, it's really hard to pull it up. Our next row is going to be our eye row. So you want your eyes, and they're going to go right in the front here. And then two bands around the rest. Flip the bottom four. Push down. Next is our cheek girl. So you want your cheeks and they're going to go in the same spot as the eyes. And two bands around the rest. Like that. Flip the bottom four. Down. Now I want to put on the mouth band. So I'm just going to take the band, put it on my hook, wrap it around one time. And then I'm going to grab the bands off the front pin, pull them up and off the pin, slide down that mouth band, and then put the bands back onto the pin. Just make sure you get them all back on. So it should look like that. Now we're going to do three rows all the way around, two bands, oh yeah with that two step lipstick, so like that, flip your bottom four, you put on the stain and then you have the gloss, but it's like it's sticky until it dries. So you like don't want to close your mouth <laughs> until it dries. It's very weird. So that's one. And then two. It's kind of like one of those weird things where like when you put on mascara, for some reason you're like just made to open your mouth like this. Put the bottom four. It's something about putting on mascara. I just see like um, girls always opening their mouth to like I don't know what it's supposed to do. It's just like some weird reflex. So I've actually trained myself not to do that because like it feels weird. Then we'll do a third row all the way around. Or it's just kind of like one of those things like why am I doing that? bottom four. So that's the lower portion. So we're ready to close this off. You just take your hook. Probably want to push these down a little bit first. 
And then take your hook, go in through the bands, and just go all the way around on every pin, putting the bands on your hook. Once you're here, grab two bands, pull them through everything. I was doing this earlier and they slipped off my fingers and they flew across the room and then of course I lost everything so I had to start all over again. No fun. At least it wasn't something huge. That would be no fun at all. Like that. Then hide your tail. And then for this portion, I just take it and I stretch it out as much as I possibly can. Like that. So we'll put that aside for a moment. We'll make the cap real quick. And this is, I just use the tube color. We're on six pins again. Let's start with the X row. So you have the X row, then we'll do a row all the way around. Like that. Flip the bottom four. Push down. And now this time it is six rows for the top cap. So two bands all the way around for six rows. Like that, flip your bottom four. down. That's one. Put the bottom four. And if you do a lot of squishing, you won't have to pull up the center. You can just push it all down, take it off, and then flip it inside out at the end. So do our fourth row. Thank you. 
five. My kids have gotten into my hoard of makeup before, and it's not pretty. <laughs> this mascara all over their face. Lipstick everywhere. It's kind of funny because I know that they've watched me put on my makeup, but they still like just put it wherever. wherever. It's fun. <laughs> Including walls, countertops. The worst was recently one of them found my nail polish and got it on the carpet. That was no bueno, no bueno at all, but it did come up with nail polish remover, so that was, like, awesome. It was red, too. That was no good. So this is our sixth row. Which is funny, because I don't even really wear red nail polish. I don't even know why I have it. I think I just had to have the color. One of those little quirks. It's like buying removal bands. I have to have them all, even if I don't intend to use them. I can't think of anything to use them with. So like that, there's our six rows. So we're just going to close this off now. So carefully, go around your six pins, collect your bands. Watch out for that last one, doesn't pop off on you. And then take two bands, pull them through everything. Try not to snag everything. Both ends on. Ooh, lost one. There. Pull tight. And then just stretch it out. Whoa. Stretch it out. Flip it inside out. Like so. So it's right side out now. So then with putting these in, like I said, they can be a little tricky. So I basically just stretch it out as much as I possibly can. Dave the pointy end up with the one that has the accent on it. Stretch it out. Push it in as far as I can go. And then just kind of slide the side up. Like that. You can reposition it a little bit. If you didn't get it down far enough, you can take your hook, go out through the bottom, and just get a good grip of something up above where you tied it, and then just kind of pull down a little bit. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. So like that. That's in the bottom. And then with the top, it's kind of the same thing. Take it. Stretch it out. Put it in. Then you can use your hook to kind of adjust any of this right in the center area so you can squeeze it together so that it is more closed. Super cute. Like that. And interchangeable. Awesome. I love it. So hopefully you like these. I don't know. They're just... I get a, had a lot of requests for some happy makeup stuff. I do have a couple other makeup tutorials coming. Been working on one. Just not totally happy with it yet. So um, hopefully that'll be done soon. But hopefully this is good for a happy lipstick. And that you like the idea of the interchangeable color and tops and bottoms because I think that's kind of a cool idea so 
But thanks you guys very much for watching. If you make these and make the other makeup stuff, definitely share it with me on my Instagram, which is at Crafting Fantastic. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you know when I come up with new things. And of course, happy looming, and there will always be more soon.